Si bien el sistema interamericano de derechos humanos ha reconocido el derecho de las mujeres a la igualdad y no discriminación, lograr la participación de las mujeres, tanto en los organismos internacionales como a nivel de gobiernos y parlamentos, sigue siendo un gran desafío para nuestros derechos, especialmente para las mujeres que están en contextos de varios factores de vulnerabilidad. En nuestros países, las mujeres se enfrentan diferentes tipos de violencia que, por estar social y culturalmente naturalizadas, dificultan su denuncia, permanecen en la impunidad y obstaculiza la participación de ellas en espacios de liderazgo y de toma de decisiones. La discriminación y la violencia, sumado a la falta de participación de las mujeres en la vida pública, impide hablar de auténticas democracias en las que todas las voces estén representadas. Women's equal and meaningful representation is a human right. It is also essential for democracy. It is important because diverse representation is a better guarantee that women's and girls' specific needs, interests and perspectives shape public policies and the allocation of resources. Guaranteeing the participation of women in all areas requires dismantling the discrimination that affects us both in the public and in the private spheres. As long as care policies remain unaddressed, the active participation of women in public life will continue to be limited. It is time for women in all their diversity to occupy decision-making positions at every level within states. This is possible with the commitment and effort of everyone In 2021, 62 years after its creation, the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights had its first and historic board of directors of all new women. The Inter-American Court today has three elected judges. As of March 8, 2022, the Inter-American Commission of Human Rights is headed by a woman and has four women commissioners. And its most senior management Officers are women. Hoy, en el Día Internacional de la Mujer, la Comisión Interamericana de Derechos Humanos destaca el deber de los Estados de adoptar todas las medidas necesarias para eliminar la violencia y la discriminación contra las mujeres y las niñas y garantizar el pleno ejercicio de sus derechos políticos in a democracy participative and representative. States must adopt transformative measures to change traditional gender roles and promote the eradication of discriminatory socio-cultural patterns which perpetuate violence against women and impede their access to decision-making positions and hinder the exercise of their rights to equality throughout their life cycle. Today, March 8th, we pay tribute to all the women and girls in the region who are resisting the structural discrimination that prevails in the world. Today, we reiterate the Commission's commitment to equality, justice, and we reject all forms of discrimination and violence against women and girls. Hoy, reiteramos el compromiso de la Comisión Interamericana de Derechos Humanos con la igualdad y la justicia y rechazamos toda forma de discriminación y violencia contra las mujeres. Estamos convencidas de que un mundo más justo e igualitario, así como la consolidación de auténticas democracias representativas e inclusivas, solo será posible con la participación activa de mujeres, niñas y adolescentes.